All right, so I'm thinking of getting Tom Soznov to uh, accept an interview on my YouTube channel. Uh, I've seen him on several other channels and um, not not that big either, not uh, not big channels. So um, I think I'm gonna just I'm gonna make a request, see what happens. It doesn't hurt. So he's very good at emails, actually. He responds to emails pretty quickly. I think at one time he responded three times to my email in the same day. So he's 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 really great. Uh, in terms of responding to his emails, he must be really busy, and uh, he must value his time as well. Yet he he will still respond to everyone's emails. So as you can see, I had messaged him a while back regarding when when his when his tasty trade or tasty works coming to Canada, and his response was uh, it should, he's open for some time in Q1, but it really depends on the pandemic. And then I asked him if he's gonna op if if tasty works is gonna offer a TFSA margin rsp and resp all all the different uh, registered accounts he said not sure right away but for sure margin will be the first one but then the others will come eventually so i'm gonna let's just change it, the subject title here so uh, what should we call a request for interview i guess or questioning or conversation request for conversation is better <laughs> Request for conversation on my YouTube channel. On my YouTube channel. Uh, hi, Tom. Uh, first time listener? No. <laughs> hi, Tom. Um, I wanted to ask you if you would like to have a one hour conversation on my YouTube channel. Um, where I will, where I can ask you uh, questions relating to Tasty Works um, and options selling in general. I have seen you on many other channels, on many other uh, channels. I'll try to keep my questions unique. What else? I'll try to keep my questions uh, unique. Maybe I can talk about my channel. I have a small channel of, of over 9K subscribers, mostly talking about options, selling, and personal finance. I use Questrade, but I can't wait for Tasty Works to come to Canada. And I think it would be a good video for the Canadian viewers as most of my viewers are Canadian. Uh, what else can I say? Here is an idea of some questions I might ask. I could ask. So I don't know um, how you survived March 2020. That's my first question. Why? Why do you manage trades? Why do you focus on neutralizing Delta? Why do you focus on neutralizing neutralizing Delta, which ends up which uh, ends up uh, which makes you sell puts on green days and calls on red days. Um, so I wanted to ask about March. I wanted to ask about his strategy. Uh, Maybe maybe that'll scare him, but your 2020 annual return selling options in percentage, of course. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna answer that question. Or otherwise, uh, otherwise uh, we would have already known somewhere on YouTube. Uh, what else could we ask? So obviously, uh, coming to Canada, the issues with coming to Canada and margin power availability oh yeah and commissions will tasty works have the same 
Will Tastyworks have the same fee structure? Will have the same fee structure as in the States? Your opinion on my spy put strategy? I think I think that's an interesting one. Spy put strategy. I'll have to explain it to him and see if he. I'd like to get his opinion on it. See what he thinks of it. How IVR is calculated with Tastyworks? Sometimes different from other brokers or sites. Why are you shorting the market? Wouldn't this be picking a direction? And many more. Also, I am sure our conversation might bring up other questions. Maybe I should say something good about uh, about the work that they've done on Tasty Trade. Um, as in, I've started selling options because of Tasty Trade. Uh, small channels. Uh, Use question, but I can't wait for tasting work. Um, and I think it would be a good idea. I myself started selling options heavily after discovering Tasty Trade, and I do not regret it. And, and and I do not regret it. And I don't think I can do anything else. And I don't think I can do anything else. Every time I buy. A dividend stock I end up selling it and using the capital to sell a put so hi Tom I wanted to ask you if you would like to have a one-hour conversation on my youtube channel where I can ask you questions relating to tastyworks and option selling in general I've seen you on many other channels so I'll try to keep my questions unique I have a small channel of over 9,000 subscribers mostly talking about option selling and personal finance uh, maybe I should give my uh, YouTube name YouTube channel yeah it's at the bottom here yeah so I'll just put it up here um, all right I have a small channel of over 9,000 su subscribers mostly talking about option selling and personal finance I use quest trade but I can't wait for tasty works to come to Canada and I think it would be a good video for Canadian viewers as most of my viewers are Canadian I myself started selling options heavily after discovering tasty trade and I do not regret it. And I don't think I can do anything else. Every time I buy a dividend stock, I end up selling it and using the capital to sell a put. Here is an idea of here is an I here is an idea of of some questions I of some questions I could ask. How you survived March 2020? Why do you focus on neutralizing delta, which makes you sell puts on green days and calls on red days? Uh, your 2020 annual return selling options in percentage. Um, the issues with coming to Canada and margin power availability will tasty works have the same fee structure as in the States your opinion on my spy put strategy how IVR is calculated with tasty works why are you shorting the market wouldn't this be picking a direction and many more and I'm, I'm sure okay and obviously if, uh, if if you have any questions if you agrees if you have any questions leave them in the comments of this video so I can make sure to include them. Hopefully he accepts the, the, to this video. Um, how can we end this? Hope to hear from you soon. Hope to hear from you soon. Um, if you ever come to Montreal, let me know. If you ever come to Montreal, let me know. Don't bring Tony. If you ever come to Montreal, let me know. Don't bring Tony. Don't bring Tony. Just kidding. All right. Um, is there anything else I should add to maybe help him, to convince him? So I wanted to ask you if we'd like to have a one hour conversation. So I'm telling him what I want right away. I'm, I'm trying to convince him over here. I have a small channel of over 9,000 subscribers. How could it help him? How could it benefit him? It would, it would, it would give him a bit of exposure on Tastyworks. I'm sure everyone, everyone already knows Tastyworks. I don't think my channel would make a big difference, but yeah. Can't wait for Tastyworks to come to Canada. Tasty trade every time. Here's an idea of some questions I could. But I think he just likes talking about this, so I think he doesn't mind, even if it's not, even if it's not uh, gonna give him any added exposure. So that's what's great about him. Okay, so I guess I'll just send this Tom request for conversation on my YouTube channel. All right, Tom. I think yeah, I think. Uh, all right. So uh, should I? 
Yeah, I'll just send. All right. All right. So sent. So if I get a response, I'll let you guys know. Please leave questions in the comments um, in the comment section below, and I'll try to. If he accepts, then it's just a matter of. Um, I'm sure he's super busy. Then it's just a matter of deciding when. And yeah, hopefully it'll be a good one. All right. Thanks for watching.